I'm Hannah and welcome to today's Digital Advent Devotional. Today's passage comes from Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 12 and it reads, For I will leave within you the meek and humble, the remnant of Israel will trust in the name of the Lord. To give a bit of context to this verse, Zephaniah was a minor prophet and at the time that he is prophesying, the kingdom of Judah, of which the capital was Jerusalem, is in a bad place. As a nation, they had turned away from God and the people were worshipping all kinds of different idols. Now Zephaniah is prophesying about the downfall of Judah and surrounding nations. But then he mentions a remnant, a group of people that will remain after the downfall of Judah, who will seek and trust in God. And that's where today's verse comes in. God says that he will leave a remnant of Israel who will trust him and that they will be meek and humble. What he means by this is that they will trust in him for all things, that they won't choose to try and do things in their own strength or in their own way and put their trust in other idols, but they will fully rely on him. But how does this relate to us today? Well, I think it can be quite easy to fall into the trap of thinking that we should be shouldering burdens and fighting our own battles on our own without any help, that relying on others shows that we can't handle things on our own and is a sign of weakness. But this is not what God wants for us. And by adopting a meek and humble attitude, we can recognise that we can't do everything in our own strength. And that's nothing to be ashamed of because God hasn't designed us to. The creator of life itself, God wants to work in and through us as we trust and seek refuge in him. So as you reflect on today's passage, you might like to ask yourself, who or what is it that you put your trust in? Maybe there's something that you are struggling with or worried about, that you're trying to carry all on your own. God longs for you to bring these things to him, to submit to him and trust in his plan and provision for your life. And as we seek and trust God, we can rely on his love and his wisdom and his power to guide us and to provide for, all, for us all that we need in the highs and lows of life. I'm now going to pray and if you'd like to, I invite you to join with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you that in all things we can come to you, that we can bring our troubles and our worries to you and know that you are for us. Heavenly Father, I'd also like to pray for the gatherings, Christmas carols and festive tea. But I pray for all those involved in organising and planning for this event, as well as those who will be attending as guests on the day. But I pray that you will bless the event and that everyone that comes has a great time. Lord, I also pray for those who are currently living in poverty. I pray that at this time they will know your comfort and your hope, that you will uplift them and meet their needs. I thank you for the work of charities that are working to um, end poverty. And I thank you particularly for the charity Acts 435. Thank you for the work of the advocates in St Mark's, Judy and Louise, who are working to match local needs with people who can help meet those needs. I pray that the charity will be a blessing to all those who need it. Amen.